Welcome back to another episode in our Chicago Bears online user franchise. It is week 10. As week 9, we had an opponent that wasn't able to play. It's been a little bit of a change into the hands of the users for that team. And of course, we had a sim game. But for once, we actually got good sim stats. As you can see, Justin Fields, 23 for 29, 4 touchdowns, 263 yards, was good enough for a Player of the Week award. Guys, remember, I think in week 1... We had two interceptions in Sim, or if I'm not mistaken, we lost, We had two interceptions, right? Yeah, had two interceptions in week one of a Sim game that we weren't even able to play. So, it, like a double whammy of bad. But here are the numbers anyway. Swift was pretty good receiving Darnell Mooney. We don't, we don't hate it. We don't hate it. He needs dev ups, and we're struggling. Darnell Washington, though. Oof, lost there. Sacks, two and a half for Uche, which is great. One for Basham, one for Buckner. Half for Crawford. I would have loved to see Crawford get the, the majority, but Jalen Johnson with a pick as well is nice. Let's take a look at our roster real quick. Take a look at injuries. Take a look at our opponent's roster. Hit our scenarios and use our one upgrade we have, which is, of course, Jalen Johnson himself who had that interception. Here's the team, though. Looks really good. You know, Darnell Washington starting over Cole Komet. So far, it has felt absolutely worth it. Tyler Scott, though, being completely wasted. We just have too much talent. We're lacking a little bit at linebacker and potentially DT, too, but... We have so much talent, it's just like, you know, somebody's got to sit. We have so many good players. Uh, but let's take a look at the injuries, like we said, which is the next step. We should be 100% uh, healthy. That's a lie, I forgot about Sean Tucker, but you know what I mean. You know, Sean Tucker's great and all, but do we really need him to be great? Probably not. Steelers, no injuries, though. Let's take a look at that team. There's obviously some changes. We're playing against the team that actually traded us Darnell Washington, so we absolutely appreciate that one. Uh, as he's been pretty good for us. Obviously, he has a great tight end anyways. That's sus as hell. But John Adams, the quarterback. Uh, great excel, okay agility. If he could have had that excel and speed change, that would have been something. Great throw power. Accuracies are okay. Najee Harris is at pretty low overall. Probably regressing already. What is he, 27 probably by now? Dobbins, not a bad backup. And then Whitley, maybe debate starting him just because he's youthful. Uh, wide receivers, though, Donovan Peoples-Jones traded uh, Pickens to our uh, rival, the Lions, I believe. Paris Campbell at number two, Calvin Austin at number three. Definitely could use some help at wide receiver. Maybe a guy like Pickens or something. <laughs> Fryermuth regressed, but he's really good. Um, regressed on the season, anyways, morale-wise. Broderick Jones looks okay. Dotson's okay. Center's definitely on the younger side. Daniels is pretty good. Sam Cosby, not bad. Reedy, the left end, um, definitely a 3-4 guy, which makes sense because he's in the 3-4, I imagine. Hayward's still here, and he's still really good. Benton, not really developing, surprisingly. And then, of course, Javon Dexter, he definitely needed that DT spot. Uh, I don't know who he's actually starting. It says, you know, not Jervon, but maybe think about starting him anyways. TJ Watts regressing, but he's really good. Greenlaw's there. Canty's not bad. Right out, Highsmith is pretty good finesse. Jerry Porter Jr. is very solid man coverage. Mosley definitely needs a corner two or three. Uh, Fitzpatrick's amazing. And then Broyles, really slow but young. All right, we're going to say no fear. We do not fear them. Uh, the Steelers are struggling. Really? They they lose stuff? Was that us? Did it say the Steelers are going to lose like all those ratings? Either way, quarterback, we've had a breakout just recently enough. We got it with Fields barely. Let's see if we can do it again. Four touchdowns with uh, or 400 plus yards, which is great. And uh, final uh, thing to do, Jalen Johnson's upgrade, which is going to be slot as always. I know he needs zone coverage, kind of, but slot is just a great upgrade, and he doesn't really need anything. It's just, ooh, nice. We'll take that. Uh, you know, it's just getting him closer to max, really. That's all there is to it. And I think slot getting a chance at speed, a very good chance at speed, is probably the best bet. But let's get into it. For the X-Factors, TJ Watt has strip specialist, no outsiders, and then the big one, edge threat. Cameron Hayward with El Toro and inside stuff, which is unbelievable. Uh, Minka with pick artist, tip drill, and deep zone KO. Joey Porter Jr. is a superstar with on the ball, which is pretty good. Tip drill, which is decent, and then deep route KO, which is great. Najee Harris with Spin Cycle, Leapfrog, and Reach Forth. It's okay. And then his strong safety has Reach Elite. Here we are in Pennsylvania uh, for his uh, home game. Of course, it looks like the, the clouds and the, the sky wants... I thought it said Mr. Riz. Uh, want to cry. And here goes Kalen Barnes on the return. Kicking it deep for us. And we ran right into him. He said, don't kill me. It's been a minute. There's been some, you know, some sim games here and there. Some people missing games. Others just not playing. You know, we're kind of getting into that Madden season where, you know, unless you're like a true grinder, people start to look at other options. 
And there goes Darnell. Not a great throw, but it will get there. And Darnell against his former team gets the first catch. Already almost has the same yards as last week. Throughout the whole game. There's that man. Could go to the quick throw to Mooney, but I think there's going to be a handoff every day of the week. And he gets blocked up. We gain about six. We'll take it. I'd say so far the defense not looking super tough. And I completely forgot about, you know, uh, TJ Watt and, and Hayward, who obviously can become problems on that, that pass rush. I'm going to take the big fella. This could be iffy. Oh, there he goes, the big fella. Monster Mitchell. Welcome back. He's like, he huge. Not wrong. He is huge. Running right into his user, potentially. And we're going to gain about four again. That's a big man. Definitely would have probably let the AI have that one. He's got a superstar over there. I don't know about this. Oh, that's just... Um. Okay. Yeah, I am genuinely shocked that that wasn't picked. I would be very mad if I was him. That should have been intercepted. I try to throw that outside. Because, yes, sure, it's, uh, you know, man coverage. And he was actually pretty tough. Well, the man coverage doesn't matter there. But uh, he was tight on him. But the left side would have been wide open. You know, the, the corner was never covering that. But I keep forgetting that when you're close to the red zone and, you know, boundary line like that, the game gets weird and they just don't want to run their route because they're afraid of going out of bounds. Just run your route. Like, I, I don't understand why they code it like that. And, of course, our former player is injured. Former player Jervon Dexter injured on the play. Ah, there goes Buckner. Get, get off the block. That is about as easy as you can get. Backup carry out the gate and he gains 10 on it. Turf toe can be several weeks. I know for a wide receiver it's like... Really rough. Got Najee again. And that's a good cut. I thought I had him. Let me switch. Oh, nice move. Get him. Jeez, he outran freaking Kyler. 24 yards on the ground there. Our run defense is so bad this year. So bad. He's like, finally, Najee gets more than two yards. Oh, well, you're welcome. You play us, and that will happen. This is definitely a pass, right? He just moved him over. Can't flip the play, I don't think, without moving, like, all of your freaking wide receivers over. And he's going to throw it underneath. Going to barely get to him. I hate when the players don't run to the player. Like, it's so annoying. Like, like I get it. You want the Heat Seeker assist because otherwise it would be so hard to tackle open field. But so many times they lock you into some, like, movement you don't want. Number 21 at wide receiver. That scares me. You know, there's a running back. There's just a number. Oh, that's got to be picked off. Who even is it, though? I don't even know who that is. Is this multiple running backs? D Tucker. I don't know. We have a common ground. We're both ass at run D. MC. He's thinking about his defense a lot here. And his defense? What our defense is, I should say. And he gets sacked with the coverage by Uche. That'll now be uh, three and a half in the last two weeks, obviously. Last week was AI, but still. <laughs> you want to get over to the play? we got a lot of players blitzing, but technically we're going to be dropping Edmonds off. Could be getting that bait for 21. Oh, we didn't bait it. We carried him upfield for uh, Brisker. Don't know why he juked that way, but... Carried him upfield for Brisker, and uh, it caused him to hesitate. Uh, I think we're going to run it anyways. Pretty good blocking. Good move, but obviously ran right into a different DB. Avoided one, got taken out by the other. What can you do? Also, they're, we're not allowed to like run the same play. Well, not allowed, but the game's supposed to be set to where we can't run the same play, but it's literally the same run, and I just audible out of it. That's a late play, but that should be caught. Good play. This cornerback got beat hard, and that's his best corner by far. Although I will say he was in zone, in his zone corner. You know, the zone for that corner is not great. Surprised that worked, though, because that was a very late read by me. Hurt away. Didn't want to run away, but, you know, here we are. I pride myself in being a pretty good pocket passer, but sometimes I run backwards and I do the whole thing. There's nobody on Mooney. Mooney will carry that upfield for a first down. Hurry up to the line. Let's go for the big play. I doubt Mitchell gets out there, but Mitchell's kind of fast for a big dude. Oh, good user by him. TJ Watt got injured. I thought it was my guy. Got in there quick. Just insta-user. 
That's out there. Oh, almost another uh, kind of possession-y face catch. <laughs> Says TJ doesn't do anything anyways. I would love to run the screen, but I, I think the streak is on. And that's overthrown. Damn, the pressure instantly, though. Fearless, surely. Surely. They say that, but, like, Fields never misses those throws deep. Like, ever. So it was clearly the pressure that did it. It's barely inbounds. That sucks. Glad to have Fearless, and it doesn't work. Telling me it's Fearless. Let's go with Crawford, user. Good tackle attempt by Gordon. Forced them outside. That's all that matters. Can't even remember what abilities we had with the Fields. I think, in general, we made out in that situation. I mean, Fields made out, of course. That's what... I gathered from that circumstance. Oh, nice hit. I don't know how the hell uh, Stevenson doesn't pick that. That ball was up there, in fairness. I'm a little surprised that anyone got up to it. I'm going against the tight end. I don't know if I like this. Man coverage is tough. Ah, good play over the middle. Was that a slant? We were way off on that play. There's no way that was a deep, like, kind of in. Obviously going for that bait. This time I will carry it upfield if it's there. Hit him. Nice hand. Tommins just tipped over. Brought a lot of players there, and we just didn't stop it. I'd say it's going to be another run. Or not. Five wide. <laughs> he wanted this five wide pretty badly, so this could be like a screen. I'm actually going to use her Jackson instead. Damn, the drags, man. They're literally impossible to cover. It's impossible to cover drags. Man coverage hasn't covered us. I'm going to go cover three hard flat and see. Play the underneath. If if this isn't cover for a drag, which, I mean, now he'll probably run the ball, but that's crazy. And that's obviously open this time. Drag actually did seem, kind of seem like it was covered. Brutal, though. You start playing so underneath trying to stop the drags that you have to, you know, basically give everything else up. Which I know that's kind of how it works, but still. He actually uses his backups quite a bit. Might just be the third down running back, though. Oh, we're switching off, I guess. He has the corner look. That was a good bait by me, though. That was a good try. I kind of seen that he was going outside with it after I realized, like, last second. Like, he kind of was shading that way. It was close. <laughs> He's like, got yeah, worried for a sec. He's closing in. I got close. I just, uh, I misread it slightly. Just slightly. I saw it a little late. I should have seen it. Not even just that, but I need to play it like how a, a ra real player would. You know, he has the safety help there, and I just, I don't trust the safety, and I just sell out. Keelan Barnes not really having much of a success on the return game. And I just said something, didn't I? Look at him go. Look at him fight to bar barely, you know, the 30-yard line. Kind of cooking. I mean, if I'm going to run this, I'm going to have to run this opposite side of TJ because he has no outsiders. Oh, what is this? How is that a hold that late? <laughs> what is that? To the outside. About to throw it inside. Couldn't get it there, TJ Womp. Kind of forced to throw it because obviously we just lost a billion yards on that uh, holding call. Wheel routes. Pretty much everyone knows what this play is. Nobody's on Darnell. Darnell fumbles. Oh, no shot! What? What? Did he actually... <laughs> That's insane. I just can't believe they actually let me pitch it. <laughs> Oh, if I would have actually tried to pitch it, that would have just went miles away. But that was insane. It worked out. That is crazy. I don't even know what like that is considered. Is that a fumble recovery touchdown? Is it receiving yards? It would be great if it was receiving yards, but it's definitely not going to be. Well, we got insanely lucky after getting really unlucky. I mean, that's that cutback. Is, are we going to help? Are we, <laughs> Eddie, you want to help? You want to get benched for Lippet? That cutback is so obvious. I defend the cutback, and I just get blocked anyways. Our pass rush is just so bad at stopping the run. It's insane. Oh, where is he going? And then we're just breaking all the tackles in the world. Come on, guys. Tackle. We got to do better than this. Good find, though, but I still need our guys to tackle when the tackle is there. 
I mean, I'm slowing down, but, like, the juke move is just, it's just broken. I don't understand how you can't, like, accelerate. Like, you stop as a defender, and it's a GG. You're, you're stopped for life. I mean, who do I cover? The D. I think there's Buckner, maybe. I couldn't move off that spot, because obviously if I do, he throws the tight end. And I think that throw is a lot easier to make than anything else. And the other throws, I felt like we're just a bit deep. Especially for a young quarterback. A little bit of man coverage last second. Like 45 audibles in here. That could be picked. And I'm not sure how our guy doesn't pick that. He tried to go for the big man play, but we do have Tremaine. Tremaine's one of the biggest linebackers in the league. Maybe the biggest one when it comes to off ball. Love to see some pressure. Let's go wide. That's going to be right to me with Woodard. Thought he was going to go to that outside. We kind of just saw that coming. That was not the hardest read in the world to make. He did go for a pretty good timing ball, though, as our guy was kind of, like, leaving him right as we were, uh, you know, right as he was about to get open. No outsiders. Yeah, I don't know about this. We're gonna, we're just going to break TJ's ankles. Let's not worry about it. Not right. <laughs> not really. Not really. Got back to the line somehow, though. Those abilities go crazy, though. Just gonna streak Mitchell because he's been kind of winning those streaks. That's a great play. Nice catch. Threw it right against the grain. That was a tough play. He must be playing super over top because his DB was like nowhere near him. Despite the fact that, you know, that's where he was going. I really thought his guy was gonna make a play on that ball. But I was like, you know what, I gotta take this anyways, it's there. And we're just getting pass rushed by regulars now. Like, we're getting pass rushed by randomers. Where's our pass rush? Regular verts. He's got pressure. I gotta say. Down the sideline. Mitchell. Oh, he had the A tapper. I didn't know if Porter was gonna go for the uh, follow through or not, so I couldn't really spam it. So if I spam it and Porter comes up, that's another fumble, and I don't think Swift's there to save the day this time. We got all these wide receivers in. We never see uh, Scott come in. That's an overthrow. Oh, Fields, stop. Get some help. <laughs> Bro's selling fries tomorrow. I don't know what he's selling, but usually the game is the answer. What is blood cooking? What is this bot cooking? I gotta say though, I, unless he makes an adjustment here, this looks free. One or the other. TJ Watt in coverage and Darnell beats his former team for a touchdown. TJ Watt in coverage is definitely a move. That's one thing I hated about running a 3-4 is you always have those linebackers. You know, the edge has to come in and cover every once in a while. And you pretty much always had to flip it or manually adjust it so your best pass rusher isn't playing coverage, you know? Like, I get it, you know, guys like TJ Watt probably do drop back here and there, but, like, I would not want my edge threat ability slow linebacker to be playing in coverage often. And definitely not in man coverage. Got that dime look. Edmonds got to carry this upfield hard. Oh, that's a good find. Cover two, win. What, once again, what is that pursuit? Eddie Jackson just, like, running directly to him when I'm trying to manually pull him out of the way. It's crazy how that happens. Come with the blitz as we just suck this game in coverage. Suck again to the quarterback. We suck at everything. There we go. Good tackle. I gotta say, we are not really... I know this season's still somewhat young. A playoff defense right now. We are looking really bad. Because his roster's lacking, I can't lie. I mean, he's definitely missing some wide receivers. Missing some clock here, too. This thing's going to take in a while. Oh, eh, you know. Did he save a pick? Maybe. Did he save a catch? Also possible. Running back was in front of us, and you know how they love to do the linebackers. Dirty. Let's go with Uche. I'm going to give up something here, but I'm going to go with Uche because he's just not good on his own. There we go. Had to user it. Fugle is up and very long and short. This play never does me well. Like, ever. And I run it, like, kind of often. That actually worked. Fair enough. Wow, late hit much. Killed us after the whistle. My mans? Darnell? 
I ran right into TJ because I'm an idiot. That move. We faked him out with that pump fake. I love doing the pump fake now. I don't know. It just... It doesn't do anything, but I just love it. He's insane. I don't know how we got out of that one. Great play. Darnell. He's insane. This might actually work. This is so stupid of a call, though. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. Maybe I call a timeout, but otherwise, I, maybe I don't. There's no way they should take more than 10 seconds to get to the line. We're literally at the line already. That's exactly what I figured. Oh, he got killed. Jesus. Joey Porter, please. He's up to the line, but I don't think he's actually covering this. Damn, Swift. I mean, I guess I kick a field goal. Double team Hayward, and he still just gets out of it like crazy. But hey, getting out of uh, situations that shouldn't be getting out of. I think we've uh, we've exceeded that fair <laughs> fair shake this game. And honestly, I think even though I... Ooh, he gets it all here. Um, even though uh, I feel like defending inside run is like just a complete sell... I think we just have to go for that every single week because we're just so bad against the ground. And if we have someone that's patient, which, I mean, I'm sure as hell not patient, we can have an ugly game. You know, nice hit by Brisker. We could have a really ugly game where they run it 40 times and, you know, we lose the game that way. I would rather lose through the air than to lose on the ground. It's so triggering. It's so triggering to just constantly give up three or four all the way through. He's switching his players around. I could see things. Look at his numbers. His names are changing. We're just showing blitz. Got blocked up, but Buckner did not. I don't understand how Fields can do what he does on the run, yet <laughs> standing still struggles. And yeah, we moving him over now. Where we got our guys? Who knows? And the blitz gets there. Uche, two and a half now. Okay. Maybe it's working. Maybe you don't have the best call in the world here. This is a little bit better. Brisker and man coverage isn't my favorite, but... Oh, I don't know what happened there, but... He would have had a chance. I mean, there was, like, you know, not enough players over there. We came in late. Adrian Amos blocking. Baylor Jones. That's a big hit for nothing. I don't know why I decided I want him to die, but I, I decided it. Whether it makes sense or not, when I decide you're going to die, it is time to die. Pretty obvious run with Becker. Bury some! Holy! That was a truck. The Mack truck. Becker. Get a couple of backup carries in here and then maybe switch to a... Oh my! Holy! Peyton Hillis! That man cooking. It's a good try. Oh, he doesn't get it. Good moves. That was close. He says, no way. I can't believe it. I'm in shambles. That was close. That was very, very close. I think everyone knows this is like... Mr. Darnell overthrown. Kind of switch sides because I don't... I don't really like... I like rolling to the right, but I like short field. Or long field, I should say. And there goes Darnell. It really looks like a scenario now. Back-to-back -back throws to him. That would have been perfect timing to get a scenario with him against the Steelers, but EA said no. He's at revenge game, killing me. Glad he's succeeding, though. Definitely open for the run game. Ah, it was a good uh, decision not to go for the uh, cutback. Don't get me wrong, we're not really ready for the run there, but... I mean, our guys are just not even trying to shed... Like, can we just, like, try to stop the run? Buckner at least chasing him down there. He got eight carries with his running backs. Split between the two. They both have about the exact same yards per carry, too. Freaking ten yards per carry. Love our defense. Ooh, I don't know who got him there, but we actually got some pressure with that blitz. It's not to dial it up a little bit. It's really the only way we play defense, in fairness. Like, we have uh, no base. 
Over the middle is wide open. Might be mine, but at the same time, I had to cover that out. The out was more free right out the gate, but he was able to wait because the pressure didn't get there and makes it count. Well, I'm stuck in the damn D-line. Rolled past him. That's a really good throw for a rookie quarterback. Down to the 10. Dot. That's just a good throw in general. Forget for a rookie quarterback. Let's go QB contained because this is like a rollout type look. Good teamwork. Gains two. Going to go with the heavy, heavy. Lip it against the big tight end. Friar move. Now he's not. That's going to be a throw away. Now he's going to take the sack. Looking deep too much. A field goal does kind of keep him in this, but I think we're all thinking touchdowns. I actually kind of want to use or bash him. Who expects the drop off? That is a play. But to be honest with you, I don't think the wide receiver screens work like at all. <laughs> I just took his kicker out late. I just wanted to see if I could do it and <laughs> they didn't care. Oh no way. That is, that is wrong. Barnes. I mean, how is he fighting so hard? Like, Barnes is ridiculous. I don't think Fields is going to get his thing either. I didn't really even think about it till just now. And there he goes. Oh, he had to dive for that. You know how hard it would be to hit that catch? We need one more touchdown with him. I don't think we're going to get it. You never know, though. Streak with DJ. Ah, he he tricked us. If that's on, that's going to be underthrown by an inch. Oof. That was close. Mitchell's him, though, as a rookie. He's, like, he's playing really well. I don't know what it is, but he's just able to get behind. It's a good play. Did somebody help us? <laughs> Please? I need one more touchdown. I wouldn't be trying this hard to, like, you know, put up a point if it wasn't for the scenario. I think that kind of goes without saying, but still. Mitchell, maybe, with the high point. Darnell tried for us. Oh. Actually, what am I talking about? It's only a 21-point game. I was thinking we had a bench, but he actually... Uh He's actually kept it close enough where I can still play. Like I said, normally I wouldn't be trying this hard to get, like, scores, especially, you know, passing, but one more for the scenario, you know? I don't think he has the coverage on it. It's a good try, but I, I didn't think he did. You know, free XP is free XP. What can I say? Let's go with Uche. Actually, no, we should be going with uh, Crawford. Dobbins played really well. We actually got a piece of him for once, though. We need to get Crawford a double digits minimum. At least get over there. Like, we can bait user, but AI bait is not going to happen. You know, we didn't even get over there at all. Good fun. She's going to stick to the D-line here. Try to get some stats if we can, because Crawford... I mean, he's not bad on his own, but he definitely is better when we're using him. Yes! Good play. Get off the line, Craw. Good hit, but holds on. Left foot seamed out. I'm surprised he held on. Left foot seemed close. Yeah, they're going to review it. They're going to uphold it. I said that to him, too. I was like, left foot seen down. Maybe not. And then they reviewed. I bet you he's thinking, oh, crap. That was a close call. 21-point game. At least he's keeping, you know, keeping the score up. I don't feel as bad about, you know, driving all the way down the field with fields like that. Run back left with Becker, who's basically untackleable. Oh, he's got room. Look at him go. Obviously got some help there, but still. Go with this play instead of the other one. You might have him. And Mitchell! Moss, kind of! Gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good about our decision to draft Mitchell. That injury kind of sucks, but, you know, he should still be on par for some, uh, for some good numbers, I think. I can't get off this pass rush, though. Oh, wow. That is uh, definitely a, a jump. Anyways, that would be the game. Uh, there was some crazy plays in this one. A lot of jump balls to Mitchell and uh, some crazy broken tackles. And obviously that fumble touchdown with uh, Swift was absolutely insane. I really hope they let us see that back.
Of course, they don't show the jump ball to Mitchell, which is so stupid. They might not even show it. They really might not. Do they count that as? It says to Darnell Washington. I don't think that is true, though, because he would have had, like, 200 yards this game. If so, got kind of stood up, and then he comes in with the strip, broils. The ball just bounces, hits off the knee, and Swift is just like, thank you. And we do actually have some upgrades. Justin Fields are going to be going with Improviser. Or is it Improviser or Scrambler? I know Improviser gives you throw power. I'm going to go Improviser. I think we've been doing Scrambler, and it just sucked. Fields has now been traded to the Steelers. Uh, two under pressure, one on the run. Man, I just want some speed. I don't know what it's going to take to get some speed upgrades, but that's what I want. Release is great, so obviously medium and deep is the main stuff we want for Mitchell. I guess slot wouldn't hurt either, but we're going to go with deep threat anyways. Better chance at speed upgrades, it feels. And two to deep route, three to awareness. Eh, not great, to be fair. Uche! Already pretty damn good at finesse moves. Do we not just max him? I don't think it's going to matter. I'm going to go run stopper. Get that run stopper going. Ends up with two to block shed, which we love to see. Got to get that block shed up because we do suck against the run. Cold opponent, we obviously won this game. Still undefeated on the season. Going up against the Chiefs next week. That could be the first loss we have, but we'll see. Uh, 1,000 XP for everyone. Might even be some upgrades across the board, but we'll do that next week if there is any. And then, of course, uh, well, Fields definitely have an upgrade because he just got QB breakout. Another huge day for Fields. This is, uh, what, third or fourth QB breakout completed? Two while he's an X-Factor, maybe three. But uh, there's that. I don't know if Fields has an upgrade. Let's see. We just did Improviser. It was bad. That is another upgrade. We'll go with Scrambler. Now a 96 overall. Speed? We'll take that, though. Plus three to short is definitely nice. So he's now technically 96 everything when you add morale and all that in there. He is a problem. He is very good. We just need to get more speed upgrades. That would be kind of insane. But anyways, GG to our opponent. We'll always have a good time. And uh, yeah, uh, we've continued the undefeated streak. we got some upgrades we'll do, like I said, next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, though, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I do appreciate continued support on the channel, especially this Bears franchise. Uh, maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, PK Plays for non amount of content. And that's about it. Very good one against the Chiefs, I imagine, next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see.